Monday, March. It's kind of beginning of spring, but in this area spring comes quite late, maybe closer to April, but still. <laughs> it's an inspirational time when nature starts waking up. And I decided to make an embroidery where I will combine um, what was that? Whatever. <laughs> uh, I will combine ribbons, uh, natural fur, and a uh, hand painted cotton base to create an illusion of a spring branch which starts giving leaves. I hope it will come out the way I imagine it, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we will see. In this vlog, I will add some of the clips uh, recorded with my camera because I really need to work on making great quality videos because I want to start teaching you guys. And uh, in vlogs, I will just try my best to learn how to make videos which would satisfy me as a perfectionist. Is it possible? I don't know, uh, but I will try my best to make great videos for you guys and let's see how it goes. <laughs> textile acrylic paints. I prefer to use them instead of watercolor paints because they are more stable in fixing. Watercolor paints may fade with time and you will lose all your work. Uh, acrylic paints can be fixed with um, an iron or a fan with some heat um, and they will last also if you wash the fabric so it is more preferably for me because I want to the background to stay the way it is <laughs>
usually the first layer which I make looks very bright, but it fades very much when it dries. That is why I need to add a second layer where I add different splashes of color and drops and make the details. I usually have only two layers of paint on my background, but sometimes I can add maybe third layer if I need some extra fine detailing. After the background is finished, I start first layer of embroidery. I use cotton and woolen threads for my branches on the background. This way it adds more depth to the final project.
is Wednesday. Yesterday was a short studio day. I managed to make a first layer of embroidery for my spring brunch. And uh, later in the evening I coated uh, my triangular project <laughs> with a mixture of PVA glue with water. Um, what is the plan? The plan for this week is to finish my spring branch. Uh, I made quite a progress already. I will show you now uh, where I am at the moment and what is the plan, how to do things and I'm quite happy with the result. Actually it's looking quite nice. So that's good, that's good. And I'm hoping this week also to make one more tri triangular thingy. Triangular? Yes. Um, and what is this triangular project? It will be a garland where I am showing different embroidery styles and I'm planning to bring this garland live workshops uh, where I can remind myself <laughs> about these uh, styles and also show um, people different ways to achieve different things. So let's see now the progress with Spring Branch and I will show also the two triangulars which are ready. Yay! So here we have uh, the current situation with the spring branch. Um, here I am implementing natural fur, natural mink fur, uh, ribbon pieces and uh, embroidery with cotton thread to achieve this kind of feeling of newborn what is the name of this whatever <laughs> uh, this kind of springy thingies which are always very lovely to touch <laughs> and they bring a mood or that everything comes to new life and new beginnings uh, these ones I placed at the moment just to see where the other branches will be coming. So this one I finished this morning. And uh, yeah, well, I'm hoping that today I will complete uh, one more branch here. And a couple short branches. I want to keep some air in this embroidery because I made some effort for the background painting and this background uh, embroidery with just stitches. I want them to be seen, not just fully covered with the fur, furry things. So at the moment I am considering a small branch which will go here maybe till this point very short branch here maybe this element will go a little bit higher here and then here will be one more branch so here would be a little bit emptiness uh, which I think maybe there will be one more short branch so there will be three short branches and one long branch like this one and here is the final result I'm quite happy with it you can see small green leaves coming out of the buds and the spring branches look perfect what do you think please leave a comment below